Hi, I'm Revant. This is part four of a web services interview video series. In this session, we will discuss web service interview questions and answers. So let's begin the tutorial. First question, what are the advantages of web services? Some of the advantages of web services are interoperability. That means web services can be accessible over network and which runs on HTTP or SOAP protocol which returns the response as XML or JSON. So the programs which are written under Java or .NET programming, so the client can accessible through PHP or .NET or Java and vice versa. Second advantage is reusability. One web service can be used by many client applications at the same time like Java and .NET can simultaneously call the web service and get the response. Third advantage is loosely coupling. That means web services client code is totally independent with server code. So we can have achieved loose coupling in our application. Easy to deploy and integrate just like web applications. Multiple service versions can be running at the same time. Second question, what are different ways to test web services? SOAP web services can be tested programmatically by generating client stubs from WSDL. WSDL means web services description language or through software such as SOAP UI tool. This is a free and a pro version tool for testing the web services. For testing using SOAP UI tool, refer this link. I have described how to test the web service using SOAP UI tool. Next question. What is the serialization used for web services? Web services uses XML serialization. Fourth question. How to handle network security threats in web services? First step is filter out all HTTP POST requests that set their content type to text or XML. Another alternative is to filter the SOAP action HTTP header attribute. Fifth question, disadvantages of web services. Although web services are simple to use, but there are some flaws of uh, using it. One of the disadvantage is overmatching requirement. This is anytime one create a web service to handle a variety of customers need specialized machine requirements. Second disadvantage of web services is security. Web services are available to public through HTTP based protocol. So everyone can access web services and use it. This flaw can be avoided using authentication mechanism. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. For any queries and support contact .netravent at the rate of gmail.com.